guys, it is Wednesday morning and I have a doctor's appointment in just a little bit. So I'm gonna start getting dressed. I'm gonna have my coffee. John, John is off to work already and the kids just now got on the bus. So <sighs> my day is starting. I've been kind of bad about um, reading fan mail or showing you guys awesome stuff that I get in the mail from some of you all. We are going to stay at Mama's house. Yes, you're staying at Mama's house. But recently, someone sent me a postcard of Elvis. She said that she knew that I thought that I had showed an Elvis cutout in my closet. And the answer to that is yes, there is an Elvis full-size, life-size Elvis cutout in my closet because... Who doesn't love Elvis? So thank you for that. Thank you for all the letters and things that I receive. I really love it. Granny loves her letters. Um, even occasionally, Daddy gets stuff. Like she also sent him this um, from Beale Street. You don't know it, but John is like a huge blues fan. So that was super cool for him. So, all right. Now I gotta go to the doctor. I hate the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. But we gotta get this thing fixed if I'm ever gonna get better. Mine, mine. parking in parking garages. I dread doing this. I hate going to the doctor and I especially hate the weight loss doctor because like if you've gained one pound, they're just like, I don't know. Like when, if it's an insecurity anyway, and then you have to go and talk about it and make, and somebody being like, oh, well, you know, you suck because you're fat. No, he's not really like that, but it still feels that way. Cause it's my own self-consciousness. I don't know. Let's go in. So I'm back out. That was a lot less painless than I thought it was going to be. He's very encouraging. Like, I really like Dr. Ray. Um, he basically said, obviously, diet and exercise. I need to look at that. Duh. I asked him, was it an issue with me drinking raw cow's milk? Because, obviously, that's going to put weight on. And he said he would rather sacrifice me gaining the weight or struggling with the weight a little bit more um, and being symptom-free of the ulcerative colitis with the raw milk than he would taking me off of it, having symptoms and being skinny. <laughs> so he did give me the A-OK -okay to continue to drink the raw milk. Um, and he is calling in a prescription for me um, for some medication to kind of help with some of the issues I've got. So for now, he doesn't want to see me till like February or March. And with this medication, he's going to see if I lose any weight and see if I do better symptoms wise, like if it doesn't affect me. And if all that happens, then um, he's not gonna do anything. But if March comes around and I'm still gaining weight or still not doing good, um, then we're gonna start talking about a second surgery. So at least for now, there's no surgery now. So that's, that's a positive. All right, let me get out of this freaking parking garage. I'm blind and a parking garage is hard to get out of. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus, I should not be allowed to drive in the city. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way down a one-way road. 
my god. Something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me mentally. Look at Pooty. In the afternoon sun, he looks heavenly. <laughs> John says all the time that Jesus didn't make that, devil did. <laughs> so I survived my driving, my own driving. Um, I did go down the wrong way on a one-way street. Thank God nobody was around, so nobody, number one, didn't hit anybody. Number two, nobody saw it. <laughs> so, that's good. So, I don't know how it is that the house gets dirty when there's nobody here. Nobody's been here for two days, and the house is dirty. And I honestly, God, get so sick of cleaning, and I even get even more sick of talking about cleaning. <sighs> Hi. Hello. You watching YouTube? I wish I'd be a mermaid when I swim in the pool. You want to be a mermaid when you swim in the pool? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that you were a mermaid. And I can swim when I was a mermaid, right? I you... can I can drown or I can swim under the water. Wow, you can swim <laughs> under the water and won't drown? Yeah. That's magical. Are you magical? Yeah, I can have a fairy... Or a princess, or Ariel, or Belle. Or yeah, I'm Ariel gonna or be Belle. a Belle. You like Belle? Yeah, Beauty I'm gonna and the be. Beast? Yeah, I'm gonna be the Belle. You are? Yeah, I'm. And it's gone. <laughs> and I. Oh, it's back. Oh my goodness. Nope, gone. <laughs> Let's get to cleaning. <laughs> them back up there. That was a good idea while it lasted. Why is it that it is the very end of November and I'm outside in shirt sleeves comfortably and in flip-flops in the evening and it's not even that cold? What's wrong with you mother nature? Good lord. While that other riffraff have to get down there and eat I'll feed you two up here. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be a beautiful rooster, I say. Yes, he will. Whoa. The rabbits leave for their new home Saturday. So I only have two more days of having rabbits. And then they'll all be gone. Some of you have asked me, do I feel bad about not having the rabbits anymore? And yes and no. Yes, because I've had the rabbits for over a year now. I've been breeding rabbits and they gave me that thing I needed when I lost the chickens and the pony and I thought that the days of me being able to run a homestead were over. So yes for that. And no because I'm ready for the next chapter. I'm ready to see what happens. Even if all I can do is chickens in a garden, I'm at least doing chickens in a garden. If I can do chickens and a milk cow and a garden and sheep or pigs or what have you, then I can do that. But at least I'm doing something. Might not be much, but it's the best that I can do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm gonna go back in the house, start getting dinner cooked. John should be on his way pretty soon. So make sure you check out all of our social media links down below. And until tomorrow, we love you, bye.